talk to you for your speed. What's happening with y'all, baby? Talk out in the flesh. Back with yet another legendary video. And this video is brought to you by and sponsored by, you guessed it, The Riz. You know Riz, you know me. We've been rocking with each other for a very long time. They make some real top of the move products and especially top of the move wallets, man. This is the gold one to match the gold hill keys here at the crib. But they got over 30 different styles. You ain't got to get this one. They got over 30 different styles and over 30,000 five star reviews to show you and validate how great their products are. And if you don't believe me or you don't believe them or anybody else is telling you or the other 30 plus thousand people, guess what you can do? You can buy it and rent it for 45 days. And if you don't absolutely love this product in 45 days, you can return it and they give you a full refund and they pay for the shipping. And guess what? It's free shipping worldwide. Come on, man. You can't beat that. And guess what? You get 10% off if you use promo code Tall Guys. So be sure to get yours because like I said, man, top level, innovative, and modern. Get rid of the old grandpa wallet and get you a Ridge wallet because it's going to hold up 12 cards and it got a money clip for the cash because you know cash is king and you got to have cash to get the ass. Now let's get this video started, baby. <laughs> So I'm gonna go right into a mode. We just go custom. Right there. Traction off. Alright. But we do got sport though. You ready? Oh, that's all I gotta do the paddle shifters. <laughs> In sport, you gotta do the paddle shifters. That joint get up though. This is smooth power. Again. No, this is crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. It is smooth power. Oh, Very smooth. Yeah, that's this joint like feel it. like you in a cloud. We gotta get gas so I couldn't go too crazy. So we know sport, you gotta do the paddle shifters. <laughs> we found, found that out real early. <laughs> they almost blew the engine. Street Speed did the jumps and knocked out the bumper and all the exteriors. Looked like I was gonna blow out the interior. I was gonna blow out the heart of this joint. Uh, I just smashed on that joint right through the MOOC too. The safety mileage is like 500, so you gotta work with it. And the top speed is 118, so if it got like a sort of governor chip in there and this, you need the 500 mile braking and you got the joint kind of governing it within the uh, 500 miles, then you gotta know that ain't even full capacity sway on that pool. Appreciate you, Edward. Yeah. Thank you, man. That's probably about like hey, 450. That's dope, man, taking off. That joint look crazy. That was tricking hard as fuck. That's what I'm saying. That shit was I, I messed hard. up a little bit though, because I ain't doing the paddle shifter. That shit squatted like a buffalo. It's just hunkered <laughs> down in. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's like a track hawk, but in a, in a pickup truck. That shit was dope. That joint's stupid but obviously it's way more heavy than the track hawk so the track hawk is like this one's like that too but it's just a different type of different type of beast well, i can't tell i never driven a track hawk actually so <laughs> Break this motherfucker? No. You did, but you blew well, the engine well, out. For 10 seconds, so I can't I, I can never tell how what a track hawk feels like. We're gonna do another pull, we're gonna do a good snatch. Takes a little bit over one fourth. I wonder how I'm curious to know how much it costs to fill this joint up. I bet you it's way worse. It's because probably 150. It was over hundred yeah. uh with my last truck, so I know it's gonna be at least like on a quarter tank it was at hundred. I, I say I say one fifty is a good. Yeah. Maybe one thirty I say anywhere between one twenty five and one fifty. Stock is loud. Yeah, this joint's dumb. Look at Stapleson, y'all. It's lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. Look at that joint. Man, look, man, living a blessed life, man. It's all things y'all can't do none of this without y'all. So I appreciate y'all, G Squad, for real. Y'all transformed uh, my life in uh, a multitude of different avenues. You know what I'm saying? In, in ways that, you know, I always hoped and prayed for, but you just never knew if you would ever really be able to attain throughout one lifetime. You know what I'm saying? And, Man, my life is far more than what I could have ever, you know what I'm saying, like dreamed of it being. You know what I'm saying? Like to be all the way honest, my dreams weren't even this big. I'm living I'm living a dream that I didn't even dream of. Ain't that crazy? It's bigger than what you know I could have ever uh expected. We got a lot more planned for y'all throughout this video, so make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video. 
This is gonna be pretty legendary, and we're going to film another episode of Top of the Mook Podcast right now. So make sure y'all uh, follow us on everything on all social media platforms for Top of the Mook Podcast, Instagram, Spotify, YouTube, you name it. All information is in the description below. But now look at we got all the whips. We got my dog, Mr. Organic Hellcat Charger, my dog Wraith, his Mercedes Benz, my Hellcat Red Eye, my Lambo, and Tall Guy Pop Audi S7. Now that joint going to get up out my parking spot, I ain't gonna lie to you. Tune it even without the exhaust, it still got some good snap crackle pop. They do a burnout. No, hell no. Listen, just for the record, your phone flew in the back seat, brother. Dang, so that's, <laughs> that's not practical. <laughs> that is practical. But I don't think it's made for doing pulls, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You thought it was nice. I, that joint's in the back seat now, man. Listen, the dream garage, no matter what happens, and I'm keeping it all the way up here with y'all, I could die today. And if just having the Hellcat, if I had just achieved that, that would have been a monumental feat. That was my Lamborghini before I got my Lamborghini. You know what I'm saying? But to get a Lamborghini along with that was like, whoa, like what kind of life are we? Is this a real, somebody pinch me? But then to get my ultimate truck with my ultimate car, with my ultimate supercar is like, what? Like to go from where I've been from in life, to go from prison, to being broke, to being type homeless, to be in all these things, not having a glimmer of hope, applying for a job. I used to apply for jobs at McDonald's and couldn't get one. You see what I'm saying? I done worked at Wendy's, I done worked at Culver's, I done, you name it, Marshall's, Dairy Queen, Subway. I was the dude when you came in the Subway and said, hey, I was a sandwich artist. Do you like, or do, would you prefer a six inch or a foot long? Pause. That was me. You know what I'm saying? No, let's not forget that. Imagine me, as tall as I am, when I came over prison getting blessed with a job at Subway. It was like, whoa, like God really blessed me. Like I got a job at Subway. You know what I'm saying? Like that was really a big deal to me. It might not be my dream to do it, but I'm getting a job and I'm getting paid to do this. And I'm, I'm leaving with a check enough, you know what I'm saying, to work towards my dream goals and aspirations every single day. So to be in this situation now, it's like, like I said, if I could die today and can't nobody take this from me, whether you hate me, whether you love me, whether you like me, whether you disagree with me, no matter how you feel towards me, one thing you gonna do, you gonna respect me. Cause look where I came from, look what I did, and look how I've been able to put it all together like pieces to the puzzle. So I say that to say this to all the people out there that lived the life that I've lived, that was where I used to be, or that is where I used to be, understand, your current circumstances does not define your future circumstances. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. Go crazy, keep taking leaps with faith, keep taking risks. When people say you're, you're delusional or you're dreaming, good. You gotta be a little bit delusional. You gotta have some chromosomes missing to be able to go from that and believe you can go from that to this. But I'm a living example, I'm a living testament of God's work. It's just to say, if you stand tall, you stay sturdy, you always be a stand-up individual, you always treat people accordingly, be a good person to people, that put that right energy in the world, it'll come back to you. But you gotta put that work ethic into the world too, and that'll also come back to you. You gotta put that ambition into the world, it'll come back to you. You gotta put that consistency out there, you gotta put that relentlessness out there, you gotta do so many things. But if you do that every day, and you go crazy and absolutely believe in your craft to the point where you are willing to die about it, you can obtain all of this. The material thing is one thing, but that's not the most important thing. You gotta just think about the story, the lifeline, the, 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 the storyline that I'm telling y'all and where I came from to where I'm at. Even if I was just to have none of these cars, but I'm still getting some money, I can still have enough money to support my family. You know what I'm saying? I can still have enough money to support my people and the loved ones and, and myself. That's a, that's a success story. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta have cars and a nice house and all that to be a success. You can be a success with so many different things in life. It's just about how you do play your cards, man. Everybody, every now and again is gonna get dealt a bad hand. It's all about how you play that hand. You know what I'm saying? Because there's people with good hands that don't play that hand right and they lose it all at the end. But there's people with bad hands. If you know how to play that hand, you're gonna win in the end game. And that's what matters most, man. So I just wanna take the time out to tell y'all that, man. I appreciate y'all, I love y'all very much. And like I said, no matter what happens, man, can't nobody ever take this away from me.
G Squad over here, y'all. It's collaborating with my dog, Mr. Organic. Hey, man, we gonna wait. Y'all on the vlog right there. We gonna wait. We gonna get a good little gap. I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow towards that. I start either, I lied. That's so bad. That's stupid though. I ain't gonna lie. That's right. I ain't gonna tell you, that charges look good. That's right, pretty stupid. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. <laughs> but anyway, man, listen. Gave y'all some good little pulls in the TRX brand new. I haven't even hit 100 miles yet, man. They say you're supposed to wait the 500 miles to break that journey in, man. And I'm sorry, baby. Look, we got my fiance right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. We got pulled over, yo. Hey, sir. How you doing, my man? Good. Hey, the reason I stopped you is for your speed. Yeah. Okay, I need to see your license, registration, insurance, please. Uh, hey, you got you at 99. Oh, damn. You hear anybody honking? Honking at me? Yeah. Did I hear somebody honking at me? Yeah. When I pulled you over, people were honking. Oh, I didn't hear that. Can I get the uh, yeah, vehicle getting... registration and insurance? Insurance right here. It's a new car. I just bought it. What, uh, what insurance? Is that Allstate? S State Farm. State Farm. Okay. That works. Okay. And you have the uh, purchase agreement or yeah, it's all... temporary registration? Yeah, it's all right here. There you go, my man. It's all in my name. Didn't mean to have a uh, camera all in your face, too. Like I said, I thought you was coming over to this side. I'm, oh, a, no, no I'm a YouTuber, so I thought you was coming over here. It's my videographer. What do you YouTube? Cars. Cars? All cars. To be honest with you, I've never seen one of these yes, in, I, in, in real life. Oh, so you know what it is, though? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got good taste, my man. Give me one. That's what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about, baby. All right, you got to you gotta YouTube something like racing a, uh, what are you talking about, the, the Ford version. The Raptor. The Raptor, yeah. I'm actually going to do that right now. Are you really? Yeah. Where? In uh, PA, Pennsylvania. I'm going to Pennsylvania right now. All right, just hang tight. I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, thank you, Can officer. Hang on to that. Appreciate okay. you, my man. Let me tell y'all something, man. <laughs> I was mocked out. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I got a cramp in my leg right now, okay? <laughs> I pulled that seat. Pull that seat down fast as <laughs> hell. My head over here shaking like. <laughs> shaking like a stripper. Man, I was back here knocked out. <laughs> I'm like, what? Sway was over there. Sway was knocked out too. Sway was over there struggling to get the mic on. The mic don't even got the wind mic on or nothing right now. I think he's actually cool though, because I was I was doing 99. I was typed on 100, but I, right when I seen him, I braked a little bit, tried to get below that 100. <laughs> and it worked. I got it. It was 99. And he knew I was smashing, because soon as I seen him, his, his lights flicked on. I said, and I instantly woke up, Sway, Sway, get the camera. But you were so calm with it. You were like, Sway, get the camera. Yeah, I'm like, and what the when fuck I woke going up on? And I was like, get the, get the camera, whatever. Yeah, he was and like, like, I'm like, they huh. didn't come out, I'm about to get pulled over. What? And you know what's funny? We just talked about that in Love and Slim. Yeah. Go subscribe, baby. You was on point, dog. I'll give it to you. Come on, baby. <laughs> I just went to a good sleep, too. Oh, you were out of there. Oh. Baby, Sway just went on the mic shaking and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so he's shaking and shit. I said, Sway, hurry up. He's coming up to the car. I said, what's All right, up? okay. <laughs> That mic probably ain't even on. <laughs> you know what? You showed me your insurance. I, uh, you want me to show it to you again? Yeah, can I take a look at that? Okay, I, yeah, no problem. I got you. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <That's funny>. man. <laughs> this dude's just crazy. Here you go, right here, my man. Uh, 
You can just grab it. It's okay. All the VIN numbers and everything are on there. Okay, I am issuing you a citation. Okay. So I'm cutting your break. I'm only citing you for 80. Okay. Appreciate that, my man. So just keep an eye on your speed for us. Go ahead and sign here in the red box. There's a pin right there on the bottom. Appreciate it, my man. All right, here you go. When you're ready to go, just build your speed up. When safe, merge back into traffic. I can't do a launch. A launch? Yeah, you can do a launch control, baby. No, I'm just playing. Let me stop. I'm just kidding. All right. Have a safe night. It just got worse. It just hailed. Mixture with rain. Look right here. You can see a whole bunch of hail. If you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you've seen all that. I'm talking about you some nice little pebbles. You can just hear it binging off the car. Bing, 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 bing. Look like somebody's playing craps on my car. Is what it sounded like anyway. So look at that, 424 miles. And I didn't even get the break in, it's 500 miles. So that means we got pulled over, we did the top speed <laughs> and everything, and we got held on and all within less than 500 miles. I think that has sufficed since we just went past the 500 mile mark about 68 miles ago. So we are good to go. We got full power and we ain't blowing the mook off this joint necessarily, but I just typed in. Station or something. <laughs> oh, gas station? Oh, I hell think it's no. that burrito. <laughs> you never even drove my last truck. I didn't. You never drove the Ram Rebel, Florida. Before the actual, you did. 